Hello children, welcome back. My name is Ranjit. So in the previous three videos, we focused on activating your joints. Now, in the part four video, we will look at how to activate and strengthen your digestive system and your core. A note to the parents, the major benefit of these exercises are, it relieves your children of any forms of digestive system issues like constipation or diarrhea. Just make sure they practice this first thing in the morning. So, let's get into it. Make sure your body and your breathing is completely relaxed when you start. Observe the starting position and from there lift your right leg up as comfortably as you can. You can use the support of your hands. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then slowly relax. Do this 3-5 to five times. Once you're done with your right leg, you can proceed with your left leg. Inhale while rising the legs. Hold the pro posture and the breath. Exhale while lowering the legs. Be aware of the stretch in the leg. And relax. Another variation for it is raise both the legs simultaneously up. Use your hands for support if needed. And slowly bring it down. Do this 3 to 5 times. Inhale as your legs goes up. Hold your breath for 2-3 seconds and exhale as your legs goes down. Next is the leg rotation. Raise the right leg a little bit above the ground, keeping the knee straight. Rotate the entire leg clockwise 10 times in, a, in as large a circle as you possibly can. And then 10 times anti-clockwise. The breathing for this is inhale while moving the leg upwards and exhale while lowering the leg. If you're tired after you finish your right leg, you can rest in Shavasana with a relaxed body with the palms facing the sky. Once your breath comes back to normal, you can proceed to the next leg. These are good for the hip joints and strengthens your spinal muscles. That's the muscle of your spinal cord. Once you're done, you can gently relax with your palms facing upward, your feet completely relaxed. Now when you come back to the next, you will keep your feet close and then palms facing downwards beside your body. Raise the right leg and then perform a cycling motion, forward cycling motion. You can do it around 10 times the forward and 10 times backward movement. After that you can relax. Similarly you can do the same procedure with your left leg. Inhale while straightening the leg. Exhale while bending the knee and bringing the thighs to the chest. Once again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Relax. Raise both legs 
practice alternate cycling movements as though pedaling a bicycle practice 10 times forward and then 10 times backward breathe normally throughout this posture relax in shavasan palms facing upward Next, pull your right knee to your chest with an inhalation and hold the breath. And as you exhale, lift your head up. Hold for a couple of seconds and then relax. Now, with an inhalation, pull your left knee to your chest and then hold the breath. And as you exhale, lift your head. Hold there for a couple of seconds and then relax. Now, bend both the knees and bring the thighs to the chest. Interlock the fingers and clasp the hands on the shin bones. Inhale deeply. Exhaling, raise the head and shoulders and try to place the nose in the space between the two knees. Hold that position for a few seconds, counting mentally, and then slowly relax. Practice this three times. So, please follow the instructions carefully and focus on your breathing and make sure you practice this so that your body is ready for part 5. See you soon.